guys welcome back to my youtube channel hope you're all doing well and welcome back to a brand new video and welcome to one of our favorite videos of the month it is our monthly primark haul primark was actually really good you know to say it was january you know when you're going after christmas and you're a little bit like hmm what's it going to be like is it going to be just like a bit of a jumble sale is it just going to be like the fact that they're trying to get rid of the christmas stuff bringing in like the spring stuff but i actually picked up some really good bits i feel like i picked up some staples which i'm really really excited to show you all so if you are excited to see what i picked up from primark this month then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up as always of course we've got two big bags i mean I don't actually ever feel like there's been a time where I've come out of Primark with less than two bags. I feel like it's because it has all the essentials, you know, like your socks, pyjamas, bobbles, pins, all that kind of thing. So I feel like every time I go, I come out with probably a bag full of them essential bits anyway. Um, so starting off, I picked up this black sweatshirt. Now, if you watch my Primark haul, I think it was my last Primark haul, I actually picked up a grey one of these. And I remember saying in the haul to you guys, it was a little bit pricey for Primark and I was a bit hesitant of whether I should have bought it or not. So glad I bought it because honestly, these sweatshirts, it must be like a new fabric that they're using or something, but the quality is so much more premium than just their standard five, six pound sweatshirt. So I don't mind spending that little bit more because honestly, they are amazing. It actually says here, product made using a minimum of 90% recycled fibres. Now I got it in a size large, it costs £11, um, which isn't expensive at all, like £11 for a sweatshirt, I mean come on, that is really really good, but for Primark when they're usually like 5 6 it is a little bit more premium. The first thing that I really like about this is it's got like a high neckline and it's got a thick neckline, you know sometimes when you spend a little bit less on a sweatshirt, the neckline's quite thin and droopy, these aren't at all, they're really nice and high up, they sit and they're sturdy, which I love. So like I said, I do actually already have this in grey, I showed you in the last haul, but I actually went back in and bought another grey one, that's how much I loved it. The only thing I'd say is the arms are quite short, and when you wash it, I feel like they go even shorter, you can't like pull the arms, you know, like if you're wearing a coat, you can't pull the arms under the coat, that's the only like little bit of criticism, but... £11, you really can't go wrong, really nice, really oversized and for me, sweatshirts are just an absolute essential in my wardrobe. You can wear them with leggings, joggers, shorts, I feel like sweatshirts are just number one essential. The next thing that I picked up, this again feels really like, I don't know if they've changed the fabrics but it just feels really nice and premium and again it says product made using a minimum of 50% recycled polyester with this one. So I picked up this grey ribbed bodysuit. Now, if you sh if I show you it close up, it's like a really nice dark grey colour. Again, quite high up on the neckline. It's not like a turtle neck or a roll neck. It's pretty similar to what I'm wearing now, actually, but like a high one, if that makes any sense. I know I've just said this with the sweatshirts, but sometimes when you buy cheaper things, it droops. Um, this doesn't look like it's going to, I mean, I've not tried it on, but let's keep our fingers crossed, in this really nice thick ribbed material and it's a bodysuit. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'm not the biggest fan of bodysuits, I just find them quite uncomfortable, but I felt like this would look so good with shorts, it would look good with jeans, cargos, I feel like these are just staples that you can put in your wardrobe and wear and wear and wear. That's what I'm going to try and do this year, I'm going to try and get like staples in my wardrobe that I can wear in so many different styles and I feel like this is definitely one of those. Um, so I picked this up in a size small and it cost me £6. Really, really liked that. Next thing I picked up was actually another body. She says, just sat here saying she doesn't like bodies, but this, they only had these in bodysuits. They didn't have them in like the standard tops, otherwise I would have definitely bought them. I guess the good thing with bodysuits is you don't have like that gather here, you know, because it's a bodysuit, it's like seamless. So I guess that's a positive. I just... I don't find them the comfiest, but they're, they're okay. Um, so this one's slightly different. It's black ribbed in the same material. I don't really know how well that picks up on camera. But as you can see here, you've got like buttons, so it buttons up. So it just looks a little bit different at the front. And it's just got a bit of a lower neckline, like it's meant to be lower. Um, but again, it's a bodysuit. Got it in a size small and it cost me £7 that, so a pound more but it does have that detailing on the front. And again, I thought that would just be really nice. Like I've just said, a staple for your wardrobe. You could wear it with literally absolutely anything. So I was really happy with that. Next up, I picked up, oh, I love this. I absolutely love. So what I love about Primark is, you know, when you go in and they have like all the basics, they have like the really stringy vest tops, which I used to 
back when I was at school I used to be absolutely obsessed with those vest tops. Does anyone else remember them? I don't even know if they still sell those anymore but you know like the vest tops but they have like one little bit of string like the really strappy ones. I used to obsess. I remember when I was at top school and me and my friends used to go on a day out to Primark. We'd go to Primark, we'd go for lunch, we'd go shopping and we literally loved it. It was our favourite days. It still is my favourite days to be fair. Like I love a girly day shopping as you guys know. Um, and we used to go to Primark and I used to literally stock up on those vest tops like there was no tomorrow. I think I had them in every single colour, probably two of each, like was obsessed. And now, I feel like back then, they only really did the stringy ones and now they do like the thicker strap vest tops. They do the short sleeve ones, kind of like what I'm wearing. They do the long sleeve ones. They do like the baggy, baggier ones. I feel like they've got such a variety. It just goes back to what I was just saying about having staples in your wardrobe that you can just rewear and rewear. Anyways, long ramble, I bought this. Absolutely love the colour of this. I don't really know what colour this is. I would say it's like a top colour. What have they said it is? Top. Okay, right, so it's a top. It's really, really nice stretchy material. And it's literally just a standard long sleeve top. And this one isn't a body. It's quite long as well, so you could wear it with leggings if you felt comfortable doing that. Or, like I say, joggers, shorts, cargoes. Literally, again, anything, just like I said with the bodysuits. I picked this up in a 2X small, purely just because... The, the reason I got a small of the bodysuits is because, like I say, I find that sometimes if you get your normal size, um, they're not very comfortable when you clip them underneath. But with these, you don't want the bagginess, so I got this in a 2X small. Um, and this one cost me £4. Like, literally, I feel like these are staples. I really, really do. I know I keep saying that, but I just... You can't have too many of these in your wardrobe. I've got these in so many different colours. I think I've got them in black, cream. I've got... I've honestly got loads of colours. But they didn't have that much of a variety of colours to choose from this time that I didn't already have. Um, I don't know if I picked another one up. I can't remember, but we'll get to that. Right. These next things. But I've wanted these... I saw everybody wearing these around Christmas time and I would have loved them around Christmas time but they didn't have my size. But I got the satin red pyjamas. Now, again, if you watch my Primark hauls regularly, you will know how obsessed I am with the Primark button-up pyjamas, like the shirt kind of style ones. I have pretty much all my pyjamas are that. They're either Disney 90s or button-up pyjamas. And I'm obsessed with them. And I've actually got a few pairs of the satin ones. Um, I've got a black pair and a top pair. And they're amazing. So, so comfortable. I actually, fun fact, have the pyjama bottoms on now. That's the thing. Nice top. Always. Always pyjama bottoms. Um, but yeah, these ones were actually from... I don't even know if you can see them. But these ones were from Primark as well a while ago. And I saw everyone around Christmas wearing these bright red ones. And I was like, oh my god, I love them. And I went into my local Primark. And they only had size large or extra small. Now, again, I can't be wearing tight pyjamas. I just don't... They've got to be baggy. They've got to be comfortable. You're going to bed, do you know what I mean? They've got to be comfortable. And I tried the large one and they just did not fit. And I wasn't even going to put the small. Anyways, long story short, I went back in in January. And they had loads and loads of different sizes. And I thought, do you know what? I'm going to still get them because... They're red. It's not like they've got Christmas print on them. That's number one. Number two, I can still wear them next Christmas. And number three, Valentine's is coming up. Red. Do you know what I mean? Red, pink, Valentine's. So I picked these up. Amazing quality. So nice. They look so luxurious. Wide leg, which I absolutely love. If I ever had to pick either cuffed or wide leg, wide leg every single day. Um, they've got pockets, which, I mean, does anyone ever use them in these type of pyjamas? Because I don't. But um, really nice. They have got an elasticated waist, but it is... I hate that, that fake drawstring. I really don't like that because, I mean, what's the point? Do they just do it because it looks nice? Like, we want to cinch it in. Do you know what I mean? I wonder why they do that. If anyone knows, please let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, so, yeah. Lovely pyjama bottoms. And they were... It says €12, Euros, so... You guys do the maths. Um, and then the top, which I really liked. Again, it's the button-up style that I love. It's got a little pocket there, which I think looks... Can you see that? Looks really nice. And it's long-sleeved, which I also... If I can get it. Really, really like. So again, pick them both up in a medium. This one was ten pound, so I bet they were both about ten, ten pound. Then bottoms might have been eleven. I'm not too sure, but I was so happy when I saw them because, like I say, I've been seeing them all over and I've been wanting them for the longest time. And they're just such girly feel and look like such luxurious pajamas. You, can you just imagine, right, going in your nice hot bubble bath, coming out, you've got your nice tan on, you've moisturised, you know, you've just freshly washed your hair, you've just done your skincare, and you put them pajamas on. Like, for me, that is just, like, the ideal night. So, I'm really excited to wear them. 
Okay, next, so this is so random, so I do apologise. But the next couple of things I bought, actually, they work in different bags. But I bought some new coat hangers because, you know, like, people say, oh, the so my socks go missing in the wash. I feel like my coat hangers go missing. Like, I buy packs and packs and packs, and then I never seem to have any. And neither does Tommy. So it's not like we're stealing each other's, even though we do do that. But that's not the reason. Anyways, I just picked up two packs. I got me some pink, Tom some grey. Um, these are 10 non-slip hangers, made using recycled plastic, £2.80 each, and yeah, I like these ones because you can multi-use them, can't you? You can hang things on or you can put things over. So yeah, picked up those, which I'm pretty sure Tommy's going to be very, very happy about because he's always moaning that he's got no hangers. Okay, next. I mean, you're probably going to know what I've bought just by me showing them because I buy these every single time and I have actually got a little bit of a confession I have opened these because I needed a pair um so I got another pack every time I go I have to pick a pack of these because I feel like these are like the socks that I live in the most they're so comfortable um so they're actually from the workout range it's the three pairs sport socks arch support with cushion sole three pound fifty um like I said I have warm it's probably good though so i can show you them like this they're so good to wear like under joggers or over leggings honestly my socks probably my sock drawer consists of i'd say 70 percent of these socks they are so so good and then i also noticed these which again i have opened because i wanted to see what they were like um they're the same like brand like made the sport socks cotton rich three pairs arch protect but they're the longer version let me show you them so they're exactly the same but the longer version so i thought i'd pick them up as well to try i've never seen them before and they cost me oh the price isn't actually on them but i'm sure they were like the same three pound fifty i'm pretty sure of it so that was that and then of course i mean can you go to primark and not pick up these like what i was saying at the start with your essentials when you've got like a bag full of essentials like this is what i meant like i cannot go into primark i feel like i have pretty much all the colors now Another confession, I did actually buy a new green one and it's this colour, but I have worn that, but I did buy that as well. Um, these are just amazing, like I honestly can't remember the last time I wore a proper bra, like I wear these all the time, they're so comfortable. £6, which I do feel like they used to be 5 but we're not complaining because, I mean I'd pay £10 for one of them, they're so, they feel so like, they feel a little bit like skims I think. I, in fact, right, let me, let me just go back a bit, they didn't used to feel like that, but... I think they've changed the material because these are a lot more of like a slinky material now whereas I feel like they used to be a little bit thicker. These feel like really seamless and slinky. So if you go into Primark, even if you're not going to buy them, just go and feel them and you'll see the difference. Can you imagine us all just stood there like feeling, people have been like, what the hell are you doing? But just go feel them because they really do feel, they've definitely, definitely 100% changed the material or the fabric that they use, they've got to have done because the, this one and the green one do not feel like the ones I usually get, but they're better. Um, does it say anything on it? Product made using recycled nylon. I don't know if that's what it used to be. But love them. Like, literally love them so much. Okay. I did then just pick up some um, standard underwear, which nobody really wants to see. And then, last few bits in the first bag. So I then picked up some jeans. Now, these are just if i can get them up um wide leg jeans really nice like a light blue color and at the bottom they look like this which i thought was quite cool i really liked the look of them now i did pick these up in a size 12 purely just because i like these style of jeans to be really oversized typically in bottoms i'm usually i'd say usually a 10 sometimes an 8 in leggings but i would say usually standard i'm a 10 um but like i say i went for a 12 because i always go for a in fact a in primark i feel like the sizing is horrendous so i probably would tend to go for a 12 like all my cargoes from primark are a size 12 but again that's just because i don't want them to be tight and then in any jeans like this i would also go for a 12 just so they're a little bit more baggy fitted because i don't want them to be tight like i've just said so i picked these up just loved 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 the bottom i thought they would look really nice with one of those basic tops can you imagine that with like this top with just some chunky trainers i feel like that would be a really nice like basic but cool outfit um how much did these cost me they're not wide leg either they're straight leg just read the tag um made using sustainable cotton again these are 20 pound but i feel like I do feel like most of Primark's kind of jeans and cargoes and things like that are £20 nowadays, but 
I don't mind paying that because I feel like they're really up to the game with stuff like that and you, you never feel like they are Primark so I was happy with that. Next up sticking to bottoms I then of course did pick up some more cargos. Now I swear I might actually try and find the clip. If I can find the clip I'm going to put it on but I probably don't have it. I swear when I first got the Primark cargos when I did a haul for you all I got some beige ones and khaki green and literally they are unreal absolutely love them perfect for winter perfect perfect for all um seasons actually because you can just change the top change the shoes i said to you all if i could choose four colors for those cargos it would be cream slash beige khaki which they had and then said primark please bring out chocolate brown and black i'm pretty sure i said that if i didn't say it, i was thinking it but i'm pretty sure i said that guess what went into primark who who can guess what colors they had how many months later six months later chocolate brown and black now the chocolate brown it wasn't a very nice chocolate brown so i didn't actually buy those it was more like a burgundy chocolate brownie color i just didn't like this sounds really stupid but the shade of chocolate brown it just wasn't like your standard nice chocolate brown so i didn't actually get them i did buy the black ones which i didn't actually buy this time i have already got them in my wardrobe but i'll go get them in a minute and show you them but then they also had navy like a Primark are pulling through so of course I had to get the navy ones like I've just said got them in a size 12 20 pound cargo jean mid-rise exactly the same as the ones that I got before the khaki and um, cream ones but in the navy blue like I say the chocolate brown weren't the best but the black I feel like the black is literally gonna look so nice because black goes with anything doesn't it so I feel like they're gonna be an absolute essential in fact let me just quickly go get them and show you okay I'm back I've also got something else to show you too the only thing with the black ones is I don't know if you guys find this with pretty much anything black but stuff just sticks with it like white fluff and stuff and it's so annoying um so yeah these are the black ones that I picked up again exactly the same they've just got fluff all over which is really annoying um but yeah absolutely over the moon i feel like primark listened to my prayers and brought out more colorways in them which i was very happy with and the other thing i just wanted to quickly show you which i got around christmas time and i wasn't filming a haul was this sweatshirt and it's honestly so nice on the front it says yale university navy blue it's one of those really thick premium materials like the black sweatshirt i showed you got this in nxl just to be that a little bit more oversized and literally love that so much i'm sure that was like 11 pound um but i got that as well okay on to bag number two so first thing that i got in here was this running armband now i didn't actually get this for running i actually got this because for christmas off tom i got one of those fold foldable treadmills you know the ones just to, like walk on i mean you can run on them but i'm not gonna i really wanted one just with me working from home i thought like on my lunch or before work or after work especially in the winter when i don't want to go out i could just get my steps in on that i'm one of these girls that in summer i like to get up and go for a walk or when i finish work i like to go for a walk just to get my steps in and i love going out and getting the fresh air but when it's raining and stuff there's not one part of me that wants to go for a walk so anyways tom got me this treadmill just to do my steps and it doesn't tell you your steps it tells you how many kilometers you've done tells you how many calories you've burnt and it tells you something else but it doesn't tell you your steps and obviously i'm not just going to stand with my phone in my hand like this so I got this and I thought I could maybe strap it to my arm or my ankle and it might monitor my steps. I don't know if that's going to work, but that was £2.50. I then saw this new colourway in my favourite socks. They're like grey with your white um, heel. Again, how much? £3.50 they'll have been. The tag's not on them. But yeah, exactly the same. They also have them in black as well. I then just got a pack of these. This is one of those things, you know, where you suck it in at the tail and you're like, hmm, okay. I think these are new. I'm not 100% sure, but it's the vitamin C range. I've never seen... I've seen the cleansers and stuff, but I've never seen the vitamin C wipes. Now, I don't really use wipes to take my makeup off. However, I do think wipes are always really handy just to have in your drawer, just in case you need them. Twin pack, one pound, so that you can't go along with them. Um, and then... I've got these. I feel like I've been seeing these all over and I thought I'd give them a go. They're the Velcro hair rollers. You get eight in the pack and yeah, I don't really know how they work to be honest. What does the Velcro bit mean? I'm not really sure. Anyway, I might test them out in a vlog or something. Let me know if you'd want to see that but they only cost £2 and I thought I'd just give them a try. And then is this the last thing? Oh no, I've got two things beside me. And then I'm, I feel like I'm saving the best till last. 
in fact this is probably one of the best i'm really happy with this i'm excited to try these i think these are dupes of the charlotte tilbury um range so i've got a lip gloss which is sweet lip gloss pale peach and this is what it looks like and i just thought that looked so nice the reason i feel like this is a dupe is because of the lid i've got the charlotte tilbury mascara and the lid's the exact same so that cost two pound fifty and then I was so excited to see this, like literally so excited. This is the Flawless Glow, which I think is a dupe of the Flawless Finish. You know, the stuff that you put on, like, I know you can wear it on its own, but I would probably wear it under makeup. It's the same applicator. It's like that, and you just put it on. Um, I'm not sure what this colour is going to be like. It's the caramel colour. It says Radius Glow Primer Foundation, enriched with squalane and vitamin e i don't know if i've just said that right i probably just butchered that Um, i only got this color because it looked like the right color for me i don't know if i don't know if that's right they had loads of lights and loads of really darks and this was like the middle color so this is caramel it cost five pound but if it's any good i mean that's a fraction of the price of the charlotte tilbury isn't it so um i thought i'd give that a go and i'll, I'll update you in a vlog with what that's like and then like i said i also got the lip gloss and then finally in fact not finally it was the first time i went in to look for it and it was there i got the zara what's it called leather jacket dupe now i actually prefer this one i think oh no oh no i was gonna say i've got something else i haven't i think i prefer this one to the zara because i mean i don't know i need to properly see the zara one like in person but the zara one's cropped and i wouldn't want a cropped one i'd want it a little bit longer but i do like the zara one with the belt this doesn't have the belt so I'm not too sure i feel like i need to see that one in person but this is the zara dupe leather jacket that everybody's been talking about honestly the color i don't even know really how to describe this color it's almost like a metal it's like a dark brownie gray with like is it metallic i don't really know what would you guys say can you see that um the the only issue with this was the only sizes they had left was an extra small or a large or an extra large and i was like well i'm not gonna get extra small because you guys know i don't like things true to size i like things to be oversized obviously not gonna get extra large because that would drown me so i got the large and it's still really baggy like to the point where i'm probably gonna let need to roll these up so every time i go into primark i go in just to see if they have a medium because i feel like the medium would be perfect for me but i might go in one more time and if they have a medium swap it and if they don't i'm just gonna have to live with this one which do you know i'm just grateful that i got my hands on one to be fair but is a little bit big i'm not gonna lie and you guys know this is what i do every single time i buy things too big and then don't wear them because it doesn't fit me but this is so nice and i feel like with like a really chunky hoodie or like um a chunky sweatshirt underneath it would be perfect but then in the summer maybe not summer but like spring when it's when you're not gonna wear them i don't think it's gonna be too big because it is it is really big on me he says it's brown maybe it's like a hint of a brown it was 35 pound which is a fraction of the price of the zara one you'll see but i'm in the try on clip but i really really like that i was just a bit gutted they didn't have a medium so maybe i'll be able to swap it i might just try one more time but if not we're just gonna live with the large it will be absolutely fine and anyways guys that is everything that i picked up from primark i feel like was that quite a big one this month i feel like that probably was quite a big one for me probably the biggest one i've done in a while but picked up some real good bits some essentials and some bits that i'm really excited to try like that charlotte tilbury dupes and i also got my hands on some things that i've been wanting so that leather jacket the red satin pajamas over the moon with everything i've picked up i really really hope you enjoyed seeing what i picked up in primark in january 2023 i cannot comprehend in my head can't get over the fact that it's 2023 crazy anyways i really hope you enjoyed if you did then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up as always thank you so much for watching and we shall see you in the next one bye <music>